Hey guys, it's TechGrab, so today I'm here with a review of TweetDeck from Google Chrome. To use TweetDeck, you must either have a TweetDeck account or sign up for one. In my case, I already have a TweetDeck account, so just click sign in here. And as you can see, TweetDeck is loaded. I'll tell you a little bit about TweetDeck. TweetDeck is a Twitter client, a Google Buzz client, a Foursquare client, and a Facebook client. And what it does is you sign in with whatever accounts you have, and it organizes them into columns. So as you can see here, this is my Twitter feed, and over here, this is my Facebook feed. Uh, you have your inbox for both accounts. And uh, if you want to add a, a new account, just click Add New Account and uh, add Twitter, Google Buzz, Foursquare. You can only have one Facebook account logged in. I do not know why. It's very simple, guys. If you want to add a column, you just click here on TweetDeck. And you uh, just hit um, either, either one of your accounts and hit Tutters for Twitter. And uh, as you can see, it has it over here. And you click uh, All Friends mentions, direct messages, or favorites, and um, I'm just going to add mentions. F so here's the column with the Twitter mentions for my Twitter account. So you just click add column, and boom, there it is. I end up having more columns than fit on the screen. So for example, if I want to pop in this and this so you can see it goes off the page but there automatically appears a little bar down there and boom you can scroll back and forth back and forth back and forth remove a column just click settings and remove column if you'd like to compose a status update hit compose and you have an option to, to um, compose from your Facebook account or your Twitter account, or if you have other ones, you can click this button here and uh, type in your your message there. And uh, so let's start. Let's type this in. I'm just gonna say this is a tweet deck tweet. Click send, and boom, there it is. Tweeted by Tutters just now. All right, and now I'm going to post from the Facebook account. So you can have the option to uh, send it uh, from both accounts. So as you can see, both of them are highlighted. So if I type it in, it will send it to both Twitter and Facebook. But I'm going to de-highlight that and say, this is a tweet deck status update. Click send. Takes a little while to add it, but um, it will pop up there. Going over here, you can sign out. You have terms of service and your privacy policy over there. Uh, you can also look at trends for Twitter. Uh, you can merge columns. So, for example, this is highlighted in blue for Facebook. Uh, it's gray for Twitter, so you can see the background. So, if I click add column here, going to add a column that is a merged column so just calls it home and this is from Tutters which is my um, Twitter account but if you scroll down here you can see there's also some things that are have a blue background so that's a Facebook account so that is very handy to have to check multiple accounts at once as you can see this Facebook status has just popped up one minute and you can like it and everything from this straight from the page um, and uh, yeah guys uh, anyway that was a quick little review of TweetDeck for Google Chrome it is a free add-on um, I don't think it's from the Chrome store I think you have to search it manually and download it from a website but um, in any case it is very handy to have and there are multiple versions of this 
uh, application. There's a Chrome add-on, but if I scroll down here in my applications folder, you can see there's also a desktop version, which I will be showing you later. And uh, yeah, guys, so uh, definitely be sure to like this video and subscribe, and uh, I will see you in my next video.